on this episode of Star Builds, we are going to be building this neat little house. Uh, it's a pretty basic design and pretty basic, uh, easy to build thing for your survival world. Uh, it has a little bit of middle game things with a enchanting table up top here and a nice spacious bedroom and an alarm or stand so that you are prepared to take on whatever the world throws at you. Hello and welcome to another episode of Sar Builds. I am your friend Sarmate. And today we're going to be building a small 8x15 starter home. Uh, here's the layout. We have 8 uh, wide and it's going to be 15 long. The pallets that we're going to be using today are just regular old oak. And we're going to use the cobblestone stairs. Kind of a classic look uh, for this building this time around. So first we're going to lay out our back corner here. So this is going to be 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. This is going to be 15 this direction. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we go ahead and fill that the rest of that in. In this build, we're going to do a uh, triangle gabled roof. And we're going to be able to have a second floor and hopefully room for an enchanting table. So you could build this house as a starter home with the intent to uh, keep it running and uh, use it as you gather more things and progress in the game. So let's go ahead and try and find the middle of this here. For this can we where we put our doorway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So there's our doorway. I'm going to go ahead and grab the spruce door. And we'll put that right here. Okay. So this is going to be our the entryway here obviously and i'm going to build up the walls they're going to be three high well four high like so and then we're going to put a roof or a ceiling on and then we'll do one more for the floor of the second level and uh once i get that far i'll bring you back all right we have the house built up it's pretty bland right now, but that's okay. We can spruce that up later. Probably not with spruce, but we'll see what we do. Uh, I used stripped oak log for the flooring in here. A very basic looking staircase here. Just oak stairs going up top here. And up here, we're going to be building up four high, just like we did down below. Um, and then we will fill this in like so. And then once we get to the top, that fourth block there, we are going to be putting in the gable roof, which is a triangle shape, which I will go through um, in just a minute when we get to that point. It's pretty easy build, uh, to build, but I think it looks pretty good as well. So it's an easy thing to have in your building arsenal. Um, so this one wall here, this what is going to be mirrored on the other side, and I'll build that when you don't have to sit here and watch me place every single block. But So this is the fourth block up here. And what we're going to be doing is putting a staircase for the roof along this whole way down that way. And we're going to be doing the same on this side. So I'll just start it here and I will finish it up uh, when, when you're away so that you don't have to watch me place everything. So the first step that you do is you go inward just like that. And then since I'm using cobblestone, I'm going to grab cobblestone uh, here some block and you're going to go and go one in like so and fill this whole deal in right here like that okay and then you have your staircase goes one more up one more up fill it all in and we're going to go one more up and do it again over here and one more time in the middle and that's what the gabled end looks like so with in this case we're going to bring this all the way across it's going to be up here the same height and then we'll fill it in uh, once i do that i'll bring you back and we can see how it looks together all right the roof is all done um well almost all done i did throw in this little dormer guy here and i'm going to show you how i did that on this side in just a second um, i also finish off the, my roofs by putting stairs on the underside here and i'll just show you how to do that over here you just click on that upper piece like that and that finishes off the roof line like so. And then to do these uh, little dormer guys, 
we are one two three four blocks from the end so let's go back on this side and go one two three four blocks from the end punch that out punch that out and punch that out this is going to be three wide uh we're going to back this off here and i think we back that off there um the, the ceiling that i use in here is going to be a cut sandstone slab and we'll go over that in just a moment here okay so that's the the frame piece that we did and we're going to go ahead and continue that gabled look um, right here on this little dormer. Uh, do just like what we did there, like so. And one more on this end to make that corner appear. Yep. And then we're going to fill this in. We'll do it on the other side here. Oops. Okay, like that. And we have um, these guys, cobblestone slabs, fill in the space here. And there we go. Uh, and then we grab the stairs to go here, finish it up. Right there. And then one final slab. Uh, stair, I said. Right there. Make the corner. And then we go underneath, and just like we were just talking about, pop them underneath like so. And there you go. There's the dormer. And the last touch, of course, is the glass, which we'll do on the inside, because there's one more thing we have to add. So you have these goofy spaces right here. Uh, what's the spot? Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, that guy right there. Okay. We're good. Uh, you have these goofy spaces here, which they look kind of dumb. So you got to fill that in like so with the slabs. Uh, there, It's not the greatest, but that's what it is. Got to do it. Uh, it looks like I have these in here, but I don't know why I put them there, so we're going to get rid of them. Okay, so we have this sandstone slab up here. Cut sandstone slab. And I wanted to put in some light fixtures. So let's go three and one. One and three. So right here. I'll do it over here, too. Right there and right there. Uh, right there, I said. Boom. Okay. And now... You want to go ahead and put your redstone lamps. So this is a little bit more advanced than total beginner, but uh, th that's one thing that I wanted to show uh, the um, flexibility with this build. And I always use levers for this part. So these are redstone lamps, and then you're going to want to run your redstone dust on the floor like so. Uh, these actually don't have to be connected. And then we're going to put a lever and a lever, and bam, and bam. So now we have lighting in here. Let's check the light levels. Uh, on the left side there, it, we're at level 10, as dark as it gets over here in, on the end, so that's great. Uh, 6 is where you need to get worried. And then let's go down below and see what we got here for light. Bring it back. And we have, let's see, 8... Eh, but we're at eight, but we don't have any windows up here. So let's go on the outside and put some windows in so we can see what it looks like from the outside as well. So there's the front of our house with the, the dormers up. And I think they look pretty cool. And we're going to go ahead and punch in. Um, let's go one high. I like to have a, a, a sill, basically, for the window. So that, that's where that's we're going to put that there and leave that there. Uh, can I can I go through the window? There we go. And let's go on the other side, like so, and another one on the other side. Okay, and then let's fill it in with glass panes. Okay, and now up here, we have the basics done. That's pretty much it. Uh, we could put in some windows here on this end, which wouldn't hurt, of course. Let's go ahead and do it over here as well. Well, we're all lit up, nice and bright, excellent. We'll put in, we'll put in one more down here too, just to make it a little bit more complete. Okay, so now we have our naked build pretty much. Let's take a, oop, I missed a window here. Take a flyby, and it's still pretty bland. We're we're getting there. It's it's looking a little bit better, but it's still pretty bland. Uh, here's this angle here, not too bad, not too bad. So another exterior trick that you can use is 
let's go with i'm gonna go with oak logs we'll use these guys right here don't need the redstone anymore you can take off these corner bits like so and fill it in with a log sometimes it's strip logs work too and it gives it just a little bit more character just a little bit more dimension and that's one of the trickier things to add is uh making it look not so boring i do have a couple more tricks that we're going to use uh, before this exterior is over whoops sorry grass block so we'll go in all four sides with this like so oops okay and then we have oh don't forget these little corners they, little little things like that bug me, so I have to go back and make sure that I didn't miss any of those. And I think I missed it on all of them, and I did. So there we go. That fills all the way up. And now we just have a little bit more character curb appeal to the uh, the building. Let's go ahead and let's go and do the uh, little... Let's do these little garden plots that I like to do here. So for just aesthetic purposes... I'm gonna grab a spruce uh, trapdoor. Here we go. And these are gonna be flower pots. They are on the ground level, obviously. If they weren't, like if they were one up, I like to put um, a trapdoor there. Let's see if we got one here. I'll show you here. I don't know if we'll. Oh, we'll, yeah, let's leave one here. Just for the heck of it. So, like so. And then underneath. Oops, not you. Don't mess that up. There we go. Underneath, we do that, and then it looks like a flower box. So there you go. That's how we do that. And we'll do, we'll do. Take this. Let's take this guy out. Let's put him only, only up top. But of course, you don't have to add these in. You could add them in on every window. You can do whatever you want. This is just my example of an easy, easy, quick build for your survival world. But make it arrow, do whatever you want. Let me know what you do down in the comments if you add these uh, flower boxes in, if you hate them. If you added the dormers, you could leave that flat. You could do whatever you want with this. But let me know what you do in the comments. Send some pictures too if you can. Okay, and then we'll do that as well. We'll just do it on the sides and the front for now. And it's coming together. It's really slow, but it's coming together. And then let's go ahead and grab a couple of flowers. These, this is a nice way to add some splash of color into your builds, especially in a build like this where I'm using this kind of dull oak wood because it's so easy to get, especially in the beginning of the game. So just throwing in, here's a splash of red and some little blue over here, maybe a little white. We'll put a red over here. I'm just kind of, just do whatever you just come naturally just throw flowers down throw some colors in and there you go it adds a little bit of something else to the build to the build which i think it looks pretty good and we'll get rid of those guys and for the outside here i was thinking we do some real fences and for a contrast let's go with Let's go with the dark oak. Let's see what this looks like. And if we don't like it, we can always go to the regular oak. Now we just run. I grab two oak fences. Yep, I did. I, I meant to grab a, a, a gate here. Yeah. Let's just kind of run it like that and see what that looks like. Hmm, I like that. So then we go ahead and we'll do it on the other side too. And that gives it a little bit more a little bit more dimension i think i'll leave i'm gonna leave the back how it is now of course you could extend this fence we could let's knock this one out and bring it out over here you know you can do whatever you want build a little 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 guy here like so and bring it across you know little ranch looking thing kind of and then you can put you got your name up here, you know, we'll use a light colored sign so you can see it easier. Bam, and we'll do Sarmate's house. Sarmare? <laughs> Sarmate's house. Boom, there we go. Then everybody will know 
whose house it is. And uh, you can also light this up a little bit more with some torches. But of course, that's something you need to be thinking of in survival. I will go put them on top. That's awesome, just like that. And there we go. There's your little little entryway. Um, and then you could you could also put down. That's why I have these guys here. Break this out. Make it your little walkway, right? So let's put this in. We'll put a bunch of. Uh, these are just regular old stone bricks. And then we can put in some different textures and we'll use cracked stone, uh, cobblestone, cracked stone bricks. Yeah. Gives it a little bit more of a little something, something. Okay. And then and another thing you could do is just knock this out too. And then grab that door, put the door back. Don't forget, got to make sure the creepers stay outside. Okay. And then our first floor down here. I was thinking that we use uh, the chests, of course, for storage. And we'll just put a couple of chests over here in the corner. I mean, you can go three high. It's pretty good to start with. You can, you know, you can put your wood plant stuff on the top one and then miscellaneous uh, gems and iron and whatever in the next one. And then your cobblestone or whatever you want to do. Uh, and then in here, let's go with some stairs. So I like to do uh, a kitchen kind of countertop look, good, look. and I use uh, upside down stairs to achieve that. I also like to use uh, barrels and trap doors for um, some cupboards. And I'll show you that quick once we get here. Okay, a little bit, a little something like that. You know, it's nothing, nothing extreme, nothing crazy. And uh, throw in some more. Uh, storage space up top there and you can use oops hold shift when you do this you can use whatever um trap door you like or the counter uh what's it called covered space that's what i'm trying to say okay a little something like that and then i also grab a crafting table and i like to throw those in the corner like so and we also are going to need a furnace and we're also going to need a sink. We don't need a sink, but um, I like to throw it in. We have a cauldron. Actually, let me show you something else over here. We'll go trip, tripwire hook. So instead of putting the sink there, we'll put the sink here. And you can put the cauldron down. And you grab this tripwire hook, and you plop it there. And you... Oop, looks kind of like a... Uh, um, a faucet. So that's what we're going to do with that. And then, of course, we need our furnace. And we plop the furnace in. And there you go. There's a, It's a very simple, easy to do uh, little gym build. And then, you know, just for just for a little splash of color, let's go ahead and grab um, a little flower pot here. And what's your favorite bl uh, flower? Let's see. Let's go with uh, sunflower would be cool, but I, don't think, I think that's too tall. So we got to go with one of these little guys. Let's go with uh, the azure guy right here. Azure bluet. I'm sure I'm butchering the name of that. And then we have our crafting table. Make sure you hold shift. Pop that pot down and then there you go. Now we have a little thing in the corner there. It looks awesome. Looks beautiful and amazing. We have a good amount of storage. You could, of course, put a couple more storage chests down here. And I think this is going to be our first level. And then, as I was saying, we go up top here. We are going to need to use... Uh, we're going to need to have enchants eventually. So let's get an enchanting table. And we're going to need bookshelves as well. Okay. And then I was thinking a good spot for this could be over here, like right at the top of the stairs. So let's see. This will work just perfectly right here. So when you have a enchanting table, you need to have the enchanting table down. So this is going to kind of screw up our window here, but that's okay. Uh, we can take that out or move it around. We could do one in the middle instead. Anyways, uh, you need to have your enchanting table. You need to have a space around it, like so. Oh, this isn't going to work here, is it? 
because this would have to be our bookshelf. So we need to adjust this just slightly. Let's go like so. Okay, yeah, so you need to have a space and then you need to have your bookshelf. So like so, like this. Oops, like this. Okay, and then you need to do two up so you have enough for um, level 30 inch enchants. Now we kind of have this goofy little corner over here. Uh, let's just go ahead and well, we could knock it out, but let's just fill it in with some books. Let's knock it out. Fill it in with some books. And another thing, you know, you could put right here is a couple trap doors. Kind of give it a finished, a more finished look on the end. There's one, two, three, one, two, oh. one, two, three. Kind of got like a, oh, that's, that'd be cool. Let's do a floating bookshelf. Let's do that. Okay, so I need, no, I need you. Come back. Okay, got a whole chip. Pop this up. Pop this up. Oh, this might be a little tricky. Let's go like this. We'll do one there and, ooh, can I aim it? Got it. Oh, I thought I had. <laughs> we'll just edit that part out. Uh, let's go over here. And Trixie, hold shift. I think I got it that time. There we go. Now we need one more. Let's bust this out of here. I'm going for a, like a, like the trapdoors are holding the, oh, that's not going to work, is it? Nope, so a tricky thing with ha uh, half slabs is, well, half slabs, is that uh, they kind of mess with, well, they're half, so this is half of the block that's here. So it's not really working how I was hoping it was going to work. So, we'll just edit that part out, we'll ignore that part. And uh, you could do that over here as well. Kind of give it a finished look. And I'll run it across the side here too. There. And that's not going to mess with your um, your enchants that you have available at all. You'll be able to reach everything. You can see all of the little um, the symbols and sigils that are flying from the bookshelf to the enchanting table. And that's what you want to have. Okay. And then on this side, we could do a little bedroom space. So let's go bed. We'll grab the black bed, something different. There we go. And then I was thinking it'd be kind of cool if we had some armor stands over here. So we'll get, you know, you run around your everyday iron armor and you have to go fight something. Let's say you're, you're going to go for the ender dragon, right? And you've been working on this gear, this enchanted diamond gear. This is, it's not going to be enchanted, but pretend it is. And uh, come up top here, and you're all hype. And you go and you grab your diamond armor. You take off your junky, uh, junky, uh, what's it called? Iron armor. And you grab it. And in this chest, maybe you have, I don't know, let's say you got a super duper diamond sword. Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's say that. And I uh, you grab your diamond sword, and you got your arrows. And then you're gonna, you're all hype. You're gonna go fight the end dragon. And let's say you got a bow too, right? First, you gotta have a bow. And you probably have a crossbow from fighting off uh, pillagers. So come up here to your room, grab your armor, grab your gear, and you go ahead and you fight the end dragon. Okay, so there you go. This is our quick build. Uh, it's a good starter house. It's got room to grow. And it looks pretty good, pretty easy. Let's check another walk. Do another quick walk through here. Got a pretty, uh, pretty basic, spacious little open, uh, chilling out area here. Could do even throw in like a little couch area. Let's let's grab some. I don't even want to do oak stairs again. But let's grab some spruce stairs. And you know you have your little sitting area here. And let's grab a fence. Beautiful. And then. A pressure plate, and we'll do a uh, same top as the the countertops over there. Boom! There you go. You have a little sitting area, and then you come up here and you've got your enchants. You got your lapis that you put in there, and your thirty levels, and you get an awesome item. You can go over here, and throw it in your chest, take a nap, and when you're ready, grab the items to go fight the Ender Dragon. And you go, and you go and do it, and you save the world, and. You go save the world, and then after that, 
you come back to your nice little home. And I hope you come back and see me next time on Sar Builds. This is uh, going to be a short little series where we're just building a couple um, homes for starter houses, so some starter housing ideas. Uh, if you like it, let me know. Leave the comments down below. And uh, I hope to see you on the next episode. Have a great rest of your day, and thanks for coming and hanging out with me.